Pretty nice weather even during the overnight hours and that's the best chance to see the Aurora Borealis Thursday night. Let me tell you what is going to happen and how this is going to play out. We've got a G3 storm on a scale of G1 which is weak to G5 which is extreme. We, really when we see a G3 it starts to perk us up a little bit here because we know you can see them this far south. The best chance near the Canadian border and northward they're right overhead. On the horizon uh, all the way down to the Iowa Minnesota border North Dakota Nebraska border for us. We have to look on the horizon and more than likely use a camera, but I know there's a bunch of you out there that do that because I see it on social media and hopefully if you're able to capture tomorrow, send it to us once again. So it's going to be visible mainly by a camera. Here's a look at the forecast and a couple of things that we have to fall see fall in place for us to actually see this. One of the potential stumbling blocks, the moon is still 95% full, which means there's going to be a lot of ambient light from the moon. Plus, we've got a chance of wet weather, which Luke's going to talk about, all the way up until about midnight. And then we've got to watch the clouds clear out from west to east to even open the sky to see it. Now, when it does open, we're more than likely going to see green, which is about 150 miles up. But if you go higher than that, you can see red. When you see the blues and the purples, that's a little bit closer down to the ground. So we've got some challenges, Lauren, but anytime there's that potential to see the Aurora Borealis, I say go out and do it. It is mesmerizing. Oh, I bet. I can't mm -hmm. wait to see the photos. Mike, thank you. Mm -hmm.